This week in the Missouri Senate, we review some general aspects of the just completed regular legislative session. It's a pleasure to have been a part of this chamber for the last eight years. I would say it wasn't a good session. It wasn't a bad session. It was definitely a bizarre session. For some lawmakers, what did not get done may be as important as what did pass. Missouri Senate President Pro Tem Caleb Rodd of Columbia says he sees several victories coming from this session. For me, the high list item was the education bill that I think is going to do a tremendous amount of good for parents and kids around the state. Public safety bill, the FRA, a budget that spent less money but also put a lot of critical investments back into our state and its people. I think all of those things are good things. Missouri Senate Majority Floor Leader Cindy O'Laughlin of Shelbina says she also considers this to have been a successful session. Passing 340B was a big step for us, trying to make sure that we have prescriptions available for senior citizens and people on low income, expanding school choice. We passed a balanced budget. We passed legislation that allows political subdivisions to adopt property tax freezes. Missouri Senate Minority Floor Leader John Rizzo of Independence says he saw senators wanting to work together again after not having done so for parts of session. I think that the quorum won. I think the bullies lost. I think the body pushed back on being pushed around all year in the last throes of session. In terms of what lessons can be taken from this session, Senator Rowden says it remains possible to still get legislative victories. Successes, identify successes, work towards successes, and not just throw out a shotgun and ask somebody else to do your work for you. You can accomplish a heck of a lot of stuff here. So again, I'm hopeful for the future of the Senate. You're going to get a bunch of new folks. Senator O'Laughlin says she agrees with this sentiment. We couldn't get done the things that we get done. I mean, if they wanted to, and sometimes they do, as you saw this last week, they can stand up for a darn long time. In general, you can sit down with them and we all kind of want to get to the same goal. It's just how do we get there? Senator Rizzo says things started to turn around after discussion ended on one measure in the final week of session. I think it's up to them. I think they made a good first start. It's a good opportunity to turn around. The big thing, as I said for hours, and there's an opportunity here in the future with all the people that are leaving, the younger Senate that's coming in. Where May 17th was the last working day of the regular legislative session, lawmakers will adjourn sine die or with no appointed date for resumption on May 30th. All told, 15 Missouri Senate bills, 29 Missouri House of Representative bills, two Missouri Senate joint resolutions, and three House concurrent resolutions all successfully passed through the Missouri General Assembly this year. And remember, you can follow these and other issues facing the Missouri Senate, plus see a complete list of truly agreed to and finally passed legislation by visiting our website, senate.mo.gov. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Dean Morgan.